that night, um, me and Vaughn ended up having sex in the room. And um, while we were having sex, he was like, um, we should probably record this. When I finally gave in, I was like, okay, fine, we'll record it. So I pulled out my phone and we started recording. The whole time, everything was consensual. After the trip, Vaughn did call me and we, we talked briefly and was like, um, do you still have the tape? I was like, yes, I do. And he was like, oh, shoot, sorry. And he was like, I was like, yes, I do. And he was like, okay, cool, send it to me. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna send it to you. And he's like, why not? I'm like, because I wanted to get out and this and that. He was like, okay, cool. But he had recorded clips on his phone as well, which I was already like, I felt like he'd had enough on his phone. It was nothing like, he never asked me to delete it, not once. And I, there was no gotcha. I didn't say gotcha or anything like that. And that was just the story of it, you know? I never, ever, 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 ever went up to Vaughn to ask him for 2.5 million or for a dollar. I never told Vaughn, give me this much money. If not, I felt like that I would have had that kind of case on me. That wasn't the case. My attorney went to them and told them what the situation was, that there was a tape that had been recorded in Cancun. They threw out the first number. They said, you know, this much, and my attorney counter offered with the 2.5 million. Why not delete the tape once you get back from Cancun? Well, because I used it to play with myself. If you like what you just saw and you want to see more videos of your favorite athletes, crazy stories, and just all the best off the field stuff, uh, subscribe to the TMZ Sports YouTube channel. The subscribe button is right here, and check out more of our exclusive content right here.